Yes, people, the legendary loot farm is back. The Horde Tink has returned, and with him, the possibility of glitching him in place to get infinite legendaries. How's it going, guys? My name's DPG, and today I'll be doing another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. So, newcomers to BR3 who are not aware of the Horde Tinks. There was once a thing called a Horde Tink in the game, or a loot tink, in which you could farm and get infinite legendaries. The loot tink was then patched and all was set. Well guys, currently there is a mini event going down in Borderlands 3 which is seeing loot tinks return. The mini event is called the Loot Monster Mayhem and it's here until April 16th. And it's this which has brought back the return of those loot tinks. So originally the best place to find these loot tinks were upon Eden 6's Jacob's estate and I can confirm they are indeed spawning there in their dozens. Just run through the map and I'm certain you will find one. Another place where loads of them do spawn in is within the droughts on Pandora. Now I'm certain there will be more places where these are scattered on the other planets. But the location I found a ton on Pandora you can see on screen now. And this glitch works with any loot tink as long as they have that backpack on which drops all these goodies. So the best way to glitch these dudes is to use Amara and make sure you are using her phase grasp action skill. Nothing else setup wise matters here. And it is as simple as this, find a loot tink, take out all surrounding enemies to make it a little easier for yourself, but obviously don't kill the loot tink while you're doing this. Once you are done with surrounding enemies, follow the loot tink around until it starts burying itself via hitting the floor with its pick. Once it starts doing this, shoot it once and then instantly phase grasp it. Upon doing this, you will notice the loot tink is frozen in place, and here it's quite simple, just shoot his backpack. Upon shooting it, it will spawn you legendaries and infinite amounts. Now obviously shooting him, you will take off his shield and health. So shoot him in segments and let that shield and health regen. Or if you get yourself a low level weapon, I myself have a level 1 infinity pistol, which is just perfect because it literally does no damage to him. So I can sit here all day just shooting him. Now I will warn you, he can glitch out if you do shoot him anywhere besides his bag. And it does end the process of him being stuck in the ground. So only shoot his backpack. Now this is by far the easiest way to freeze this loot tink in place to take advantage of this and get those infinite legendaries, but you can also do this on flak easy enough, which does require his pet, which I will replay an older video of me explaining this in a quick second. You can also do this using the quasar grenade on Zayn and Moles too, but that is definitely the most difficult part, and you're better off just having a friend on Amara do this for you. And I mean if you both have low level weapons, you can both just shoot away and I mean you double your loot I guess. So yeah, on screen now are the highlights of past videos of me explaining how to do this without Amara. And also an AFK method in getting those legendaries too, which requires this loot tink, which is absolutely amazing. So check that out right now. It started with a grenade called the Quasar, which everyone thought it needed a homing stat. We later found out it doesn't need that homing stat. But the grenade sometimes, when I say sometimes, one in a hundred times, freezes the loot tink in place so you can just shoot his backpack, spawning legendaries. So on Flak, which is how this is done, head to Eden 6. Go to many of the loot tink locations. So you find any loot tink, take his health down to a minimal. Then what you need to do is wait for him to hit the floor with his pick to open up that teleporter so he can try and escape. Now when he does this, you on flak you need to use your pet's charge attack and make sure your pet kills the tink. That's why it's best to get this tink's health real low. So holding down your pet's charge attack button, it will put a target above the loot tink's head. Your pet needs to kill the loot tink while he's burying into the floor and has this target above his head. Doing so and timing correctly you will see the tink seemingly freeze in place but in actual fact he's dead but his backpack remains for you to still shoot to earn legendaries. So you can shoot him and his backpack as much as you want without worrying about killing him. If you have an infinite pistol, shoot forever. Now the AFK part works with one specific shield. Any version of the red suit will be fine as long as it has a stat of deals damage per second to nearby enemies. If you have a shield that does this, it's a win-win for you people. All you do is stand next to this tink and it will continuously damage him and spawn legendaries. But because he's already dead, you don't take down his health. So you can do this all day and you'll continuously spawn legendaries. So you can put your controller down, do anything else you want as the game does the work for you. Upon your returning, you'll be welcomed by 
many, many legendaries. It's amazing, people. It really so, is. yeah, guys, that is how this is done. An amazing legendary farm glitch and one which will reward you a ton of legendaries. Remember, this is only in place while this Loot Monster Mayhem event is on. It lasts until April 16th. When that date does come, this will not work anymore. So, yeah, guys, enjoy this while it lasts and get that loot. On that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.